the king, the king of kings. On your knees, dog. <laughs> Hello, people. It's King Dub Seventh coming at you with some Destiny, taking King Gear to gameplay. So there's a couple of things I want to talk about. This is going to be my brief little, I guess. I haven't really talked to you guys about what I've thought of the game so far. So this is going to be my brief little uh, introduction to my thoughts on this expansion. So, the biggest thing that I loved about the expansion so far, I guess it's mainly going to be about Crucible. I would do like a bigger thing in the future. The biggest thing that I love about the Crucible so far is that there is much more of a variance in terms of what people are using. People are starting to snipe more, people are starting to use shotguns more. Fusions are still kind of lacking, but I think the people pick up some fusions. I've been killed by fusions a couple times before. More than, like before, you, before the Take of King, it was zero. Room. Percent. Now it's about 10% of the, the special that I'm killed by my DPs. So that that definitely deserves a round of applause for that. But it still needs to be better. I guess so when I'm using the shotgun, the shotgun that I'm using is the old shotgun. Not the new one. If you notice the new ones you can't find new shotguns for like crazy crazy. I think when they nerfed the range of the shotgun, they didn't just nerf the shotgun statistically in terms of uh, like the numbers that we can't see, but they also just lowered the stats that we can see in the shotguns too. Because I don't, I haven't seen any shotguns with crazy range. Maybe that's just me. Maybe you guys have, but I haven't seen any shotguns with, like insane. So once people start moving on from the old weapons and picking up the new weapons, that should definitely change. In terms of primary, I'm seeing a lot of different primary weapons. Before, where Thorn dominated the Crucible and everyone had to use Thorn to get good scores, everyone used the last word. I use the last word a lot. I use the last word to blow just because I like the gun. Other people the use the last word because they need it to do well. You don't really see that anymore. You're seeing more scout rifles being used. I saw Mita being used a lot. I saw Hawk Moon being used. I saw Red Death being used. I saw Bad Juju. I saw so many. And the new, uh, the new scout rifles and things like that are being used. Some people are like I've seen a lot of people who don't even use exotics anymore, anymore, which is I think very healthy for the game because I mean, you don't want one gun or one gun type dominating the game all the time. That's one of the things that I don't like about games like Call of Duty and Halo. When people played Halo, people always rushed to the same guns. They rushed to the DMR, the shotgun, and the, and the swords. Some people rushed for the rocket launchers. Not everybody liked the rocket launchers, but it was DMR, shotgun, and the swords, and battle rifle. Call of Duty. Everybody just about used the same gun in Call of Duty. Like, everybody had those guns that you knew were going to be the like there was always that one gun that you knew was going to be the killer gun in a Call of Duty game. And it's just up to you and the community to find it. Destiny was like that for a certain amount of time. There was that one gun. At first, it was the Bex. Then it became Thorn. Then it became Red Death. It's going was still pretty strong at that time. But there was that one gun that people knew was going to be the game changing gun, the best gun in the game. 
I can't necessarily say that anymore. I don't think that they're the best gun in the game. The last word is still pretty strong. Even if it's not a gun, it's still pretty strong. But you can very easily... Like, I'm using Soros right now. If you look back... On my gameplays, this is probably the first... Like, since Taken King came out. Before the Taken King, you probably got to use it. Or any auto rifle. And auto rifles used to be my main gun to use in this game. But, they got weakened. So, right there I should have slid up instead of jumping in the air. But auto rifles got weakened. weakened. So you saw me switch into things like my coil hiss, which was the post rifle. Some to the last word. Sometimes I use a scout rifle. Only time I'd use Heavy ammo inbound. an auto rifle is when I wanted to get myself a challenge. And just like use the worst possible gun ever, like the cloak stop. Heavy ammo and see if available. I can do well with it. That's the only time I'd use auto rifle. But what the definitely has what definitely has turned into right now. They still need to fix lag as you can see. And there's still not enough variance like it's still not perfect. But for where it's at right now, it's closer to where it should have been. It's closer to where there are actual gunfights. But I've been in a lot of gunfights that lasted more than three seconds. She made day on three seconds, that's not that long. Three seconds is a long time. Some of you guys fight 3 5 Now, I mean, I'm not, I'm obviously not just counting the, the gun fights, these are all approximations. It's better than what it was. Definitely. So, I would love to hear what you guys thought about or, or thinking about the new DLC. Hopefully, you're loving it also. If you're not, then I would love for you to say why you're not loving it. What you think should be improved. Please like the video. Subscribe to the channel. I look forward to your opinions in the future. Have a great day folks. Have a great day.